but we don't have more though we don't call more so what do you have do you, or you do not have like supper <laughs> okay <laughs> all right <laughs> so sure. we're going to talk about ramadan and eid yeah so how yeah. does bunayan uh, celebrate ramadan and eid i mean is it the same as in malaysian Ah, it's very similar. It's very similar with Malaysians, but I think um, for Ramadan, uh, it's the little things that's different. Um, but major things like taraweh in masjid is the same. Um, like I think working hours. How's wait, your wait. working hours? During COVID time, you guys get to go to masjid too. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, Brunei's uh, COVID nineteen Brunei has been better. Mm-hmm. It's been one year and one month without local case. Oh, alhamdulillah, wow. Only imported cases. Mm-hmm. And imported cases are like mainly the foreigners um, mm. like coming in for work. Um, yeah, yeah. So alhamdulillah, we're like we're almost back to normal but we're still cautious. We're still cautious uh, about like social distancing and whatnot. Although not really, but <laughs> um, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, uh, this year we get uh, the masjid. The mosque is already open in full capacity. Mm. Mm. But ju- uh, but we we do have like SOP or protocols mm. like we we have to bring our own sajadah yeah. and just stay in our sajadah we don't re- we don't have to do social distancing like one meter just stay in our own sajadah in our own space um hamdila masjid in full capacity this year um because covid-19 is well controlled in brunei um that's the blessing of it i mean the blessing of brunei is it being small it's Easier, easier, easier to control, to control. Right? Yeah. and yeah. alhamdulillah, like the people of Brunei also listened to the SOP in the first few, like six months or so, lah. Mm, yeah, masjid, masjid is open <laughs> this year. Okay. I mean, uh, some areas in Malaysia, um, the masjid is open too, but mostly, um, most of the masjid they still restrict the number of people coming in. Oh, yeah, I, see. I mean, it makes sense, yeah, but yeah, um, Which... I mean, also tell her where you can do at home, but you know. For mm-hmm. I'm just oh, nervous about the eight because we wanted to yeah, stay together yeah. at that point. But yeah. but we're not going to talk about it yet. So so you guys <laughs> do taraweh like us, right? Yeah yeah. So we, do, we, do, we do we do we so, do. So we you do. guys wear telokong too. Mm-hmm. Um, I wish I could show you my telokong. Oh yeah, we do we do have telokong just like Malaysians. We do have like white dulu kan white guys. Eh? Right uh-huh. now we've got like we have colors now, <laughs> like colors, colors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We do have we yeah quite the same lah actually. And sometimes we buy we buy the Malaysian brand. <laughs> of, um, <laughs> apa nama dia Kadija? Oh, Siti Kadija. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Kadija. very well known. It was a thing back then. <laughs> yeah. So so you call Taraweh Taraweh too, right? Taraweh, yes. Taraweh, yes, right? Yes. So um, iftar, you call it buka puasa. Sungkai. Or? Sungkai. Oh, it's like this Sabah, right? Oh, uh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Like yeah, Sarawak. yeah. I think the Sabah, Sarawak, Sabah. Sungkai. Oh, Sarawak. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh sungkai. yeah, Sarawak. Yeah. yeah. Sahur is Sahur. Mm, sahur mm. is Sahur. But we don't have moreh though. We don't call moreh. So what do you have? Do you, or you do not have like supper? <laughs> um, I think. I, I think it's not a thing unless much like, we have a huge family gathering. I mean, mm-hmm. for my family lah, for my family culture. But I'm not sure about other families. But we don't call the word more. Yeah, mm-hmm. I learned. But you more, know about more. Yeah, I know more because um, I was friends with a lot of Malaysians back in uh, when mm. I was studying in Australia. So like these little things, little differences, actually interesting. <laughs> yeah, and, and non-Asian would see as like. <laughs> Maybe we're from the same country, but we're not. Yeah, you know? we're not. We're <laughs> different. <laughs> so, how about Eid? How do you guys Eid? usually celebrate Eid? Yes, you call it Raya. Yes, uh, we call it Raya. Um, it's not Raya. <laughs> Raya. So, Raya. Okay. Raya. It's like um, in the northern part of Malaysia, we uh, it's called Raya too. Raya. Eh? Oh, the northern I part, see. they they pronounce it more <coughs> like the ah. the. The accurate, yeah, the R. Like the like uh, standard Malay, yeah, like bahasa baku lah, bahasa Pretty baku. Much. But also with some <laughs> accent, 
the northern part is Penang, uh, Kedah, Perlis, and I some see. part of of Perak. So they pronounce yeah. it a, a bit different. Yeah, <laughs> I see. I'm from Penang, by the way. Oh but, yeah. Oh, are you in Penang at the moment, or are you in different state? No, I'm in different state. <laughs> but I was brought up in uh, Kuantan, so. I don't really speak the accent, but I understand it pretty much. <laughs> just, just don't speak that fast. <laughs> <laughs> don't expect you to speak in that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm Indian Muslim. So when I celebrate Eid, we will have tosa. We will have biryani. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. like the Malays, us, the, the, the common food for the Malays because the Malays are the majority Muslim in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. So they will have ketupat, nasi impit, rendang, you know. And some some yeah. states they have um ayam kuzi. I think that's for Kelantan. Oh, I've yeah, never yeah, heard. Kind of, yeah, it's I've very heard. delicious. It's oh, pretty my. much like rendang, I would say. Or maybe if I say this, I would offend them because it might not be that accurate. <laughs> Sorry, <guys>. Because <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but how about you guys? Do you have uh, the same dish? Food or? um yeah. similar, similar. But I think like. Uh, it's very similar, but it's a bit different. We do have the rendang, the ketupat. Our signature, another signature would be satay. 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 Mm. Mm. Sometimes, I think it's just my family, hati buya. Do you guys hati eat buya. hati buya? No. I think, bo- I think Sarawak. Sarawak. Uh, hati buya is lungs. The lungs of the cow. Uh-huh, okay. Um, it's an I organ. Hati buya. Hati buya. It's literally okay. cow's lungs. Paru paru. So, so buya is cow? No. Buya is like boe. Hati buya. I don't know why they call it hati buya, but it's paru paru <laughs> lah. It's actually paru paru of the it's, herbal, it's paru. The cow. Yeah, paru paru. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the lungs, the lungs of the cow. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so uh, we we usually have that with soto or like um, uh-huh. Just eat it on its own. But soto in Brunei, I learned from my Malaysian friends, is different. Soto for Malaysians, you eat it with nasi and bit, right? Yeah. We don't. We eat it with yellow noodle and bihun, and oh. it's usually soup tulang. The soup is mainly soup tulang. But for you, how's the soup again? I think it's like can be chicken and whatnot, right? Yeah. But we usually omit- eat soup tulang. And it's clear soup, clear water soup for yeah, yeah. for the Malaysian. And I think uh, soto is mostly soto is mostly famous for Johorian. I think it's their dish, it's their it's their egg dish. Yeah, mm. yeah. Soto for us is like soup tulang with the yellow noodle and bihun. You can add hati buya, tauge, bagedel. Yeah, this Bagetel. is making me. Hungry. Uh, hungry? This is Ramadan. Oh my god! I'm not sure why we we choose yeah. to record this at daytime. You know, right? <laughs> We already know we're going to be talking about food, and we will have another segment talking about food, just food. Oh I don't know. So yeah. <laughs> brace ourselves. Let's go. Like, like the Malaysian culture, we would usually be, you know, like like during the eight, we would wake up early, uh, just like everyone doing the sunnah, you know, uh, taking shower, uh, going for the eight prayer, and then uh, coming back, and we would usually usually be um, having this. Um, Asking for forgiveness session. Yeah, session. Uh, oh, yeah, for your yeah. parents, mm. or your spouse, or your children, and 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 parents. I already said parents. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, and and then we will be uh, visiting our relatives and our oh, yeah, yeah. friends. Do you ha- you guys do that too? Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. We would go to our nenek's house, like nenek's house in the morning. But for my family tradition, we would do a convoy. So we mm. like us and the cousins. We would convoy to uh, like other people's houses. But since we're growing in number, <laughs> I think it's quite dangerous to. <laughs> Like not dangerous because of COVID, not just that, but it's just it, we we our family doesn't fit the house of people anymore. Yep. <laughs> so, can I can't wait to you guys yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I but I think that's that's the beauty of it. I think it's pretty much the same too with Malaysia, because um usually um most of most of us are staying in KL or Selangor, yeah. and we have our hometown in the northern part or the southern part, you know. So we go back there and we wanted to visit the relatives there. 
so mm. we go together there will be like five cars or 10 cars sometimes yeah 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 and then you don't even get to enter the house you know you just really? had the yep the the front <laughs> yard they would be bringing the food there wow yeah just as We've long as you're there <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's an idea <laughs> But but of course it's also convenient for the host because yeah. they don't have to entertain you like ten thousand times. It's just like yeah yeah. It's like yeah. having a feast, you know, at that time at that day. Yeah. Oh, it's like open house ish. Right? Open house, open house. That is a culture, yeah. So but of course also in Malaysia like... it's a one month open house. Oh oh wow. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> for us, I think max is three weeks, and then like for the fourth week too, it's just for like. Colleagues, you know, like special guests, such as, you know, but yeah, yeah like, oh, wow, one month. That's I think that's like Sarawak as well. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a Malaysian yeah. thing, I guess. It's a Malaysian thing. <laughs> uh, Sky, are you rendang oh, we different? Don't use Skype anymore. Huh? Uh, are you rendang different than Malaysian rendang? They are also Similar, uh, different yeah. kind of rendang, right? No, we call rendang the same. Like mm. I, we we are aware that I am aware that there's different type of rendang, but either way we just call it rendang because for you guys it's different, right? Like, uh, rendang from different state tastes different from different state. No. I guess so. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, I say I, sure. I love culture, but you see, yeah, I'm still learning about it. <laughs> no, yeah, we're because... still learning. Yeah, I think they look the same to me. But um, when I ask my Malay friends, they say it's not the same. Yeah, oh. it, it also shows that I'm not a good cook. That's why I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I only eat. Rendang is complicated. <laughs> yeah, but I think in Malaysia there are so many um, instant rendang thingy, so that oh. makes life easy. I mean, of course it doesn't taste the same, but you know. Yeah, at least <laughs> yep. if you're craving for it. Thank you for watching the very first episode of the Tech Chat. I will be very much interested if you would like to talk about your culture. Just email me and tell me more about yourself, and inshallah, I will be contacting you. Bye.